And good evening to you. Welcome to high school basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. We're live from Boschville Gymnasium in Pittsfield this evening as the 17-8 Pittsfield Sockies play host to the 18-8 Beardstown Tigers. Alongside Jack and John Hull, I'm Charlie Hull, and this is the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Pittsfield trying to rebound after a loss to Camp Point Central last night. Beardstown coming off of a loss against Payson Seymour last night. So somebody trying to get the week turned around here this evening. We'll talk more about the matchup on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show after this. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account. Plus, ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now that the new year is upon us, it's time to focus on the important things like Wi-Fi, strong connections, and high speed. This is the perfect time to tell you to call Cascom today. We specialize in all of those important needs. With our high-speed fiber optic service, we make your life easier. Whether that's online streaming, gaming, or just wanting good local TV channels, we have it all. So give us a call today at 1-800-252-1799. At Logan AgriService, we consider it a badge of honor to be recognized as one of the larger independent suppliers of crop protection chemicals in the Midwest. We've worked hard for years to provide you with the access to the best herbicides, insecticides, and fungicides from top manufacturers because we know without you, our local farmers, we wouldn't be here. When you have questions, call our local experts to discuss what works best for your fields and your situation or visit us online at loganag.com. Serving agriculture since 1962. Best Systems Insulators offer insulation for homes and commercial buildings throughout Central Illinois and the surrounding areas. We take great care to ensure that the insulation products we use are the best fit for our clients and their project. We understand that different buildings have different needs and that each of our clients has a unique set of goals. Let us work with you to find the best solution for your next project. Call Best Systems Insulators at 217-285-6005. That's 285-6005. Or visit them online at Go Best Systems. Systems.com. Kate Marable, real estate broker with Hometown Real Estate, would like to say good luck to all area teams and hopes everyone has a successful and healthy season. When you're in the market for a new home or would like to sell your home, be sure to call Kate Marable. Kate is a lifelong resident of the area and has experience in first-time home buyers, FHA, USDA, and VA loans. Call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809 for Kate Marable and Hometown Real Estate. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Pittsfield and Beardstown on the boys' side here this evening. The Sockies coming off of a loss last night to Camp Point Central in a game, Jack, that honestly the physicality of the Camp Point Central squad really was the difference in the ball game and helped turn the tide for Camp Point Central. They took a four-point game at halftime and ran away with it with the subs for both teams being in for about the last half of the fourth quarter. Pittsfield will have to have a much tougher effort here tonight against an aggressive Beardstown squad. Well, if if, if you look at this uh, this group for Pittsfield this year, the, the couple of things that they don't have is a super aggressive lineup and uh, don't have the, the speed of some people, but Camp Point Central was a tough matchup last night, even though I don't know that the size, the difference that Pittsfield had uh, was taken advantage of in the second half. In the first half, they looked like they really had a good plan. But, uh, yeah, tonight, Beardstown's going to come out, and they're a little unorthodox most of the time. And it'll be interesting to see how Pittsfield handles that with the discipline they usually play. Well, this is a team in Beardstown that has scored as many as 88 points and as few as 22 points in a game this season. So that's about as uh, well, about as far of a margin as you could have with the team. Not saying they played the same teams those nights, but I mean, they can put up some points and then other nights they can really struggle as well. Who kept them to 22, do you remember? Grigsville Perry. They've done that to everybody pretty much, even in a couple of losses. and. Uh, on the other side, you know, you're going to run into those teams. You can put up points where you can run up and down the court, and I'm sure they enjoy that. But this Beardstown lineup, 
depleted a little bit tonight. Not quite as many guys in the roster as they normally have. Yeah, they're going to have a few guys out tonight and a few that have left the uh, team, but they are 18 and 8 on the season, and this game has some postseason seeding implications. Surely uh, that's as good of a record as they put up in quite a while, I would think. And uh, yeah, it's this is a big one tonight. I think for Pittsfield, this is kind of one of those must win games if you want to have a chance to play at Boston in the postseason. Well, I think for either team, if they're hoping to host a first round game or maybe even get a bye in the first round, depending on how it gets split up in the subsectional complex, which those seedings will come out tomorrow. Both of them in the running for that, you know, 18, 19 wins on the year for these two squads. And if you look overall, there's not a lot of great records in this thing this time around. And so this game could really pay some dividends for the winner here this evening. It's, it's interesting when you talk about two teams with this many wins not being in the top eight. That would be unusual. But when you lose to a Pleasant Plains, that takes some of that record away from you on the Pittsfield side. And I'm sure Beardstown's got some of those losses. Plus, they don't face a lot of those teams that are in the postseason regional sectional complex. It is the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports with locations in Pittsfield, Barry, and Liberty. And Hannibal Great Rivers Bank is here to serve you and your family with the banking services you need close to where you live and always online at greatriversbank.bank. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. We step aside on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show as we count down to tip off at Volschel Gym. The Sockies and the Tigers stay tuned on Central Illinois Sports. Cedar Lake Campground has been owned and operated by the Cranberg family for over 50 years. Located off of Highway 24 between Coatesburg and Camp Point, Cedar Lake Campground is a quiet family campground that you're sure to enjoy. With 60 RV spots with water and electric and our five-acre lake, it's a perfect spot for a weekend spent fishing, spending time with family, and enjoying the great outdoors. Find out more about Cedar Lake Campground on Facebook or call 217-455-4602. Here in Pittsfield, we're focused on maintaining a healthy, diverse economic base to increase opportunities for our residents. Economic factors greatly affect a community's overall potential, and we strive to continue our prosperous culture. The availability of both commercial and industrial employment centers and new lucrative entrepreneurship opportunities are major assets for growth and development here in Pittsfield. In addition to providing employment and income to people, Pittsfield also boasts several tax incentive districts to further facilitate economic growth. Examples of growth and success can be seen throughout Pittsfield. Pittsfield is located within Pike County and widely known for the abundance of white-tailed deer and is also home to companies that have capitalized from the region's natural resources. Located over on Madison Street, Whitetail Properties is a major local and international employer that truly embodies the local and economic spirit of Pittsfield. State-of-the-art communications and telecommuting are available here. Be sure to catch their televised series throughout the week on the Sportsman Channel. Come grow and be a part of something great in Pittsfield, Illinois. The thing for me that really separates DOT, senior leadership and the owners of the business really focus on employee engagement. We have some of the best people managers. The Tracy family, senior leaders throughout the business, really all of our leaders care about the employees that work here. And that allows for a lot of families to come work at DOT Foods and I think that's part of it is being able to have all those different schedules and the flexibility to be able to move things around when life happens. The heart is the hardest working muscle in your body. If something goes wrong with it, you need a medical team that works just as hard. You need Blessing Health's Open Heart Surgery Team, celebrating 20 years of delivering life-saving care to tri-state residents. Patients and families choose Blessing Health's Open Heart Surgery Team for its experience, quality, and heartwarming compassion. Get the most out of your hardworking heart. Make your dream kitchen and bath a reality with help from Pike County Lumber. We'll create a design to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Quartz countertops, quality onyx that offers dozens of colors. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? 
Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owners agents at BNP Insurance Agency, Barber Agency. See Pat Vandevelde, Caleb Vandevelde, or Mary Coltis. Go find our location at 114 South Madison Street in Pittsfield. Back with you on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Pits with and Beardstown, both teams out of the court. Warming up in preparation for tonight's contest. We'll also have action for you this coming Thursday from the ISA 7th grade side of things. On the boys' basketball side, third and fourth place games and championship contest for you on Saturday evening from East Peoria along with, uh, what, El Paso, Gridley, Normal, and Macon Meridian, all four classes, third and fourth place game at 6 o'clock, championship games around 7.30. You can watch it live with the purchase of your IESA membership on Central Illinois Sports. Friday evening, we're back here at Voschel Gym as Pittsfield plays host to Western High School. And then on Saturday, we're right back at it with the junior high boys basketball, eighth grade this time around, as we'll have action from Warrensburg, Latham, Kankakee, Bishop McNamara, on the 3A side, where are you headed this week, Jack? Tolona Unity, I believe. Yep, talked to Scott Hamilton today, and everything's set up. Got us a hardwire Ethernet. Everything's in place. I'm sure everybody's glad to hear that. And then at the 4A uh, side, it'll be at Taylorville, the home of the Tornadoes. But And we have some local local squads yeah. in it this coming week. Augusta uh, Southeastern was the only uh, really local team in it uh, this last time around, and they'll play for third and fourth place on Thursday night on the eighth grade side. There's several local teams. Yeah, you know, when you, when you take a look at Griggsville Perry making it, and, uh, you know, this... Quincy St. Peter? Yeah, Quincy St. Peter. We got, the, we got the news to the folks in Quincy that we'd be on the air for that, and so we're looking forward to those. Havana's a team that we've covered in the past on the girls' side, so they're looking forward to the broadcast, I know, too. And, uh, yeah, that's South County squad. I had quite a few people that are happy to be able to pick up things there. And in fact, the Lincoln Hill, we see refereeing a lot of times. Got a son on that team, and he said how appreciative the people over there were to be able to watch the broadcast. Well, definitely glad that you have been able to do that. And if you have not, just check it out for $14.99. You can watch all of the games live and on demand as well. Some keys to this contest. First of all, both these teams want to take good care of the basketball. It's been a problem for both of them at times this season, the turnover situation, uh, especially on the Pittsfield side. They you know, really don't have a, uh, a quick scoring offense, so if you give up transition points, it's a little tougher for them to catch up. For Beardstown, they're going to be undersized in this contest as they have been most of the season, so it'll be important for the Tigers to really crash the glass hard and on, when Pittsfield's on offense, really make sure they box out, don't give up second chance opportunities. Pittsfield needs to make shots early. I mean, and I think that goes with not looking at the three-point shot early in the offense, more looking down low and then getting that inside out that seems to really serve them well. But they need scoring from their seniors. And, uh, you know, Connor Allen put some things together, and Eli Mendenhall had a fairly decent game, Javen Petty. But Brendan, Tom Hay really needs to step up and be a scorer tonight. And then they need to get some role players in there that can do some things too. <clears throat> uh, Granton was able to do some things, but the other sophomore guards looked a little bit more like deer in the headlight last night than I think I'd seen in a while. Might have something to do with the quickness they had to face last night. Quickness and strength, but uh, I haven't seen a lot this season throughout the area, but... Pittsfield still, I mean, they're a team that's won 17 basketball games. I don't think it's time to, you know, maybe panic. But you do want to be playing some of your better basketball as you get toward the postseason. And I think this is still a Pittsfield team that can compete for a regional championship. Well, I do too. But you're going to have to recognize the scores for Beardstab. And that's Thomas, who wears the number one, and Broxman, who wears the number 11. Broxman's got 1,000 points. They're, both those guys are scorers. And, you know, the rest of the people on the team really haven't put up a lot of points, so you got to identify those people and play the defense. You can ill afford to have one of them stick 20 in and a half on you. Pretty solid senior group here for the Beardstown Tigers squad. Of course, Liza Thomas, Exuse Malumba in the starting lineup, along with Isaac Brockschmidt, 
and Ryan Alhorn. So they'll start four seniors as uh, Pittsfield does the same. And so looking forward to this one here this evening. We'll step aside, have the national anthem from the United States Army Band and Choir. When we come back, the Farm and Home Supply starting lineups. We hope you'll stick around on Central Illinois Sports. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project, from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. Welcome to the Best of Pet Olympics 2024, sponsored by the Love Your Pet Sale at your local farm and home supply. First up, we've got the gold medal champion in speed eating. It's Ollie. Good thing more than a dozen brands of dog food are on sale. Next is Ellie, the gold medal winner in squeaker ruination. She's backed by 25% off all pet toys. And here's Moses, the gold medal winner in treat finding. He's going to love the 10% off sale on select dog treats. Check out all the deals for the Love Your Pet Sale at farmandhomesupply.com. Time to take a look at the starting lineups presented by Farm and Home Supply. Farmandhomesupply.com or see the location nearest you. Just a great offering from snacks, hoodies, power tools, lawn chairs, and a lot of things in between. Nobody has it like your local Farm and Home Supply. The Beardstown Tigers are 18 and 8 on the season. They'll start at a guard, a 5'10 senior. That's Eliza Thomas. At a second guard, he's a six foot senior. That's Exuse Malumba. And at the third guard is the 5'11 senior, Isaac Brockschmidt. Out of forward is Isaiah Thomas. He's five foot ten, and at the other forward is the six four senior Ryan Allhorn. Allhorn, Isaiah, and Eliza Thomas, Exuse Malumba, and Brock Schmidt for Beardstown for the Pittsfield Sockies. Brad Tom Hayes squad seventeen and eight on the season. They'll start at a guard, a five ten sophomore Hayden Gratton. At a second guard, the six three senior Brennan Tom Hayes. But at the third guard is the six one senior Javen Petty. Out of forward, he's a six three senior Connor Allen. And at the other forward, the 6'3 senior, Eli Mendenhall. Mendenhall, Allen, Petty, Tommy, and Gratton for the Pittsfield Sockies. That's a look at the Farm and Home Supply starting lineup. So we tip it off in the Boastful Gym next. Sports families, come check out Central Valley Sports, the new facility in town. Located three miles south of Winchester at 520 Winchester Glasgow Road. Batting cages, pitching mounds, pitching machines, and more. Open to all ages and skill levels. The facility is available for team rental, individual membership, and family memberships. Be sure to check out the Central Valley Sports Facebook page for more information and stay up to date on individual lessons and camps offered throughout the year. You're getting thirsty, bold, refreshing. So good. <clears throat> I mean, dude. Ready to tip it off at Voschel Gymnasium. Beardstown in the visiting orange uniforms, black numbers, white trim. Sockies are wearing the whites tonight with the red numbers and black trim. It's Allhorn jumping for Beardstown against Allen for Pittsfield. Sit back and enjoy high school basketball on 
Central Illinois Sports as the tip is up and controlled by the Tigers. They'll be on the attack for the first time tonight as Brock Schmidt brings it toward the front court. Works it to Malumba on the wing. He'll turn the corner, get downhill, a little left-hand runner up and good, and Malumba puts Beardstown on the board. 2-0 right out of the gate. Full court pressure here by the Tigers and the man-to-man. Tom Ave in the backcourt works it toward the half-court line across to Allen. Turns and faces there. Now back to Tom Ave and Pittsfield will set up in the half-court offensive attack. Gratton with the basketball. Right side to Allen looking at the post for Mendenhall. Out top. Allen might have got away with a the travel there. Gets it to Petty. Now a lot pass down on the paint to Allen. His shot off the window. A and in for two and ties the game up and two points apiece. So both teams score on their first possession of the contest, and we're knotted at two on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. Here's Thomas with the basketball. That's Eliza Thomas. Works it out top to Brockschmidt. Brockschmidt has scored his 1,000th point just a few weeks ago. Puts up a three, no good, and Connor Allen with the rebound for the Sockies. They work it to Petty. Eyes forward, looking to work it toward the half-court line. Now across it goes to Grattan. To Petty, right side Hayden Grattan looks down low to Mendenhall who gets free for the two and the Sockies take their first lead of this ball game with 6.33 to play in the first and the post entry pass to Mendenhall. Malumba the other way, kicks to the right side, that's to Isaiah Thomas, his floater is up no good. Rebound tipped down, run down by Allhorn. Second chance opportunity for the Tigers as Brackschmidt drives in off the window, rolls in and out no good. Rebound out of bounds and it will stay, no, it'll go to Pittsfield. Actually, uh, yeah, Grant needed a little help on the defensive side. Everybody did, uh, went away, and the ball rolled out. And on the rebound, there was a little bit of a fight for it, but it bounced off one of the Tigers. I think Alhorn's grown since they thought he was 6'4". He's a big oh, boy. I just think everybody else is not very tall for their sound. <laughs> out top of it is Tom Habe. Looks to the bench for the plate call. Gratton feeds the post to Mendenhall. They're going to give it to him. Shot no good. A rebound down to Gratton. Over to Tom Hay for the three, and it's good. Tom Hay from downtown and makes it a 7-2 Saki lead on a 7-0 run right now. Rockschmidt into the backcourt. Works the ball to Malumba. Malumba brings it across. He'd stop that guard penetration. They've given up a little bit already. Eliza Thomas with it now. Looks for the opening. Hands it off to Rockschmidt. He'll pick it up off the bounce, working against Mendenhall, and Mendenhall fouls it. Mendenhall pick up the foul, and in the postseason, you won't see that called too awful much. It's kind of a soft foul to be picked up in the early going here. First team foul, first foul of the ball game. Out of bounds underneath for the Tigers. Isaiah Thomas hands to Brockschmidt. Bounce pass to Malumba. Malumba from eight. His shot is too hard. And the rebound down to Tame for the Sockies. To Petty. Pittsfield on the attack and a turnover as Petty overthrows Hayden Grant. First turnover of the ball game, 5-13 left first quarter, 7-2 Sockies after trailing 2-0, a 7-0 run. Thomas with it in the backcourt. Ian Brockschmidt playing the guards out front. Malumba, he'll attack on the run. Left hand shot up good. Malumba with his second basket. Exuse Malumba, the senior, with four and makes it a 7-4 score. Allen into the front court had trouble with the dribble. Works a back out between the circles to Tom Abe. Now to Allen left side. Looking to the paint for Mendenhall. Instead, the pass goes out top Grant. Now to Mendenhall. Leaves it for Grant top of the key. Trying to work that little high-low post entry. Right side, Tom Abe gets a touch. He'll give it off to Petty. Lop pass down inside to Tom Abe. He'll lean back, put it up, and get it to go. Brennan Tom Abe's got an early five for the Sockies to make it a 9-4 score. Quickly into the front court, Eliza Thomas for Beardstown. Had it poked away from behind, but is fouled by Petty. Petty picks up the foul, not one you want to pick up early on a reach around like that. With uh, the offense just starting, you know, you got to buy you those fouls a little bit so you don't end up being on the bench too early in the game. A lot of people play, like, like to play defense like that where they let the man go by and then try to poke it away from behind. You just play defense, sometimes you can keep him in front. Here's a three now by Thomas. He'll put it up and in. Eliza Thomas with a bucket to make it a 9-7 score. 4-0-4 to play in the first. Petty brings it across the half-court line. 
A little hesitation move, now drives to the rim, shot no good. Draws the contact and heads to the free throw line. Heading to go to the free throw line, foul is on Alhorn. It'll be his first, first team foul on Beardstown. 9-7 ball game after Pittsfield led 9-4. That three is such a weapon in the game today. 3.55 left, not like it's new, but catches you right up quickly. Petty's first, way short. The Line Express here to serve you with walk-in medical care when you need it. They see patients ages 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. Check out their new location on the campus of Illini Community Hospital in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.com. Org. Isaiah Thomas sit down. DeSoller in the game. Petty makes the adjustment. And it's a 10-7 ball game. His first of the game. Zach DeSoller, the junior guard in for Beardstown. This team does not have a ton of height. Thomas into the front court. That's Eliza Thomas. Bounces it into DeSoller. Little give and go. Poked away by Grant. Stolen away by Allen. One turnover each way now. Grant with it into the front court. Trying to pass down low. Tipped out of bounds. Was looking for Nichols across the lane. Beard's down with a good job to get a hand in the passing lane. Good idea, but a little lob over. I think he'd have had the easy layup, maybe. Petty to inbound. Looking, looking. Close to five. Gets it into Grant. Right back to Petty on the wing for a three. It's good. Petty with the tray from the corner. As Pittsfield's now hit as many threes in this first quarter as they hit in the game last night, and they lead by six. And they've only shot two. There's a drive in. Pass is tipped out of bounds as Malumba was trying to give it off to a teammate right at the last second. And it's Beardstown ball underneath. DeSoller. Lob pass out front to Malumba. Malumba puts it on the deck. Gets the screen. Drives in. He's long and gets to the rim quickly on that left side. He's finished on the left side every time. Pittsfield's got to recognize that. And make the adjustment. Make him go to the right. Six for him. 13-9 score with 3.04 to play in the first. Allen gets it out front to Petty. Petty on the dribble drive. Kicks to the wing in Tom Have. He'll put it on the deck against Eliza Thomas. To Nichols for a three. It's no good. And the rebound is secured by Allhorn. Works it to DeSoller. DeSoller wants to push the pace into the front court. Nowhere to go with it. Got caught in the air and turns it over. Now Tom may have nearly had it stolen away as didn't realize DeSoller was still in the vicinity. It's with a four-point lead and the basketball as Tom may brings it across to Petty near the sideline right side. Long bounce pass out top to Allen. He'll triple drive right side. Tom may for a three. It's off the mark, but he's fouled and he'll shoot three shots. Tom may will shoot three. That foul is on Malumba. His first, team second. 13-9 ball game, four-point lead. Pittsfield's led by as much as six. 2.23 left in the first quarter. PCRE real estate in auction. First by Brendan Tom Avis Short. Bowlers Universe, they are open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Fridays until midnight. Saturdays, 4 to midnight. They offer a great menu from burgers and fries to specialty pizzas. See them tomorrow from 4 until close for a $6 burger and fries special with a dollar of each of those sales going to Saki Nation at Bowlers Universe in Pittsfield. Tom Abe makes the second, gives him six, and it's a 14-9 game. Taylor Graham into the game for the first time as Gratton sits down, and that's Hayden Gratton. Ethan Gratton will check in if the free throw goes in, and it does. Beardstown brought Ethan Heller off the bench, a junior. Here's the aforementioned Ethan Gratton and sits down Connor Allen for Pittsfield. The Sockies have tied their biggest lead of the contest for the Ethan third time. Ethan Heller celebrating his birthday today. The rest of the team sang to him early. He's got the basketball, drives to the baseline, works it out top now to Thomas with just over two minutes to play in the first. Heller hands it off to Eliza Thomas. Looks for the opening, pass to Allhorn near the elbow. Back to Brock Schmidt now, has picked up the bounce. Leaves it out top to Thomas. Thomas trying to get to the rim and can't get it to go. Rebound out of bounce off of Nichols. And it'll be Beardstown basketball as Mendenhall returns and Lucas Nichols heads to the bench. Underneath here for the orange-clad Tigers. 
Other than LSU, do you know many Tigers that aren't orange in their main <laughs> color scheme? Auburn, Hardly I guess. Hardly any in Is high school Auburn, or college. Tigers? Auburn's the Tigers. Right here's a missed shot. No good. Rebound down to Mendenhall. His first. Pass into the front court. Goes to Petty. Mendenhall puts it on the deck. Down low to Graham. He'll work it back out. Tom Abe sets up for a three. Good again. Tom Abe having a good start to the night for the Sockies and gives them a nine-point advantage. Their largest of the contest on the PCRE scoreboard with just over a minute 20 to play in the first. Tom Abe with 10 already. It was shut out last night. Here's a foul now on Petty, and he'll pick up his second. Petty's second foul of the ball game. Third team foul, 114 into the quarter. Here comes Bratton in, and Petty will sit down. And You know, you just take yourself out of the ball game for the entire second quarter when you do that. Here comes Jordan Kanda into the game, the junior guard. He'll sit down. Allhorn. Surprised Malumba's not right back at it. The way he was playing. Brock Schmidt with the basketball for Beardstown, down by nine. Looks to work against Graham now. Crosses over, gets to his left. Runner up, no good. Rebound tipped out and run down here by Eliza Thomas. He'll pull down for another three, no good. Rebound to Heller on the offensive side. Third opportunity here for the Tigers. To Kanda on the right wing. He'll look for the backdoor pass down to Heller, and he was held by Mendenhall. Mendenhall will pick up the foul, and it will be his second. Fourth team foul. Now Connor Allen in. Mendenhall sits down, and seniors, seniors, seniors. You got to stay in the game. At South County, Grigsville Perry trailing South County 14-3 after a quarter. 47 seconds to play in the first. Here's Kanda. Works it out top to Thomas. Eliza Thomas with a step back three, no good. And Ethan Granton secures the board for the Sockets. His first. Looks to Hayden Granton. Pass to Tommy. Into the front court, it goes to Graham. Graham on the dribble drive, gets to the rim. Shot no good, foul, but he'll... Head to the charity strike. Had Allen on the other side, but just couldn't see him with the D50 people, I think. Foul's going to go on Brock Smith, his first, team third. Two free throws for the sophomore and Taylor Graham. 18 9, nine point lead, 31.2 seconds left. And if Pittsfield had made a couple other good decisions, it could be bigger. Graham's first is short, and everybody's been short on their first free throw today. The Pine County Express is your local family-owned newspaper. They've been serving Pine County since 1991. Check out the newest edition of the Pine County Express tomorrow and every Wednesday on a newsstand near you. A bunch of the FFA boys on the front page I saw on the advertisement on the web about the paper. Second one, no good. Rebound comes off. Off of Beardstown's Malumba, who's back in the game. Here's Rigston Bonds in, sits down Ethan Gratton. Allhorn returns for Beardstown. He'll take the place of Malumba. That's a little Pittsfield squad out there now, isn't it? And also we have another sub, and Heller will come back into the contest, and he'll replace DeSoller. 30 seconds left in the first. Now they're ready to go. Graham to trigger. Inbounds pass to Tom Abe. Lost it, got it, put it up, left hand no good. Rebound loose underneath. Tom Abe up with it, blocked by Allhorn. Rebound loose again. Tom Abe fighting for it. Ball's out of bounds, and it's going to be off of Beardstown and stay Saki basketball. 19.8 seconds to play in the period. Ball out of bounds underneath for the Sockies as Brendan Tomme will be the man to throw it in. Bodies flying everywhere there. Well, nobody could just grab the ball. Inbounds pass comes to Allen. Allen fakes, puts up a shot. It's no good, but he's fouled by Allhorn, and he'll be whistled for this foul. His second, team fourth, free throws for Connor Allen. Pittsfield is shooting her eighth and ninth free throws. They are three of seven. 18-9 their lead, 17 points, second, seven seconds left in the quarter. Allen makes the first, he's got three now. Here's Malumba back into the game for the Tigers. He'll sit down Heller, 17.7 seconds to play in the game's opening period. Three throws. That means you're supposed to make a lot of them, right? I thought it was three throws. <laughs> yeah. Here's Ethan Gratton back in. He'll replace 
Who's coming out? Graham. They're going to fight for it. Pittsfield said it'll be easier with six. It's three for O's in, in Carrollton, isn't it? Double hitters. Double hitter. Those are illegal. I think also get you in jail. Into the front court with it is Malumba. Off to Thomas, who drives in to the rim and in for two. Eliza Thomas with another bucket. Four seconds left. Tom Habe, long pass into the front court. Ethan Grant puts it over the front of the rim and in to beat the buzzer. And we've played a quarter of high school basketball action. After one, it's the Pittsfield Sockies 22, the Beardstown Tigers 11, as you watch it all live on Central Illinois Sports. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217 222 7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. 22-11 is the lead for Pittsfield after a quarter. Sockies will also have the basketball to start the second period. And a buzzer beater by Ethan Cratton has given Pittsfield their biggest lead of the ball game. 7 of 11, Pittsfield 3 of 5 from the arc, 5 of 9 from the free throw line. Beardstown 5 of 13, 1 of 4, and haven't shot a free throw yet. Inbounds pass, Tom Hay looks to get it in, close to 5, does get it into Bonds. Bonds, Ethan Gratton, along with Allen, Tom Abe and Hayden Grant to start the second quarter for the Sockies as Allen has it on the dribble. Works it out to Hayden Grant. Now Tom Habe got a hot first quarter for Pittsfield. Over to Allen. Then he travels. Turnover on the Sockies. Second turnover on Pittsfield. Drag a foot that time. I missed that one. Pivot on both feet. Unlike That's a U- Unlike a Euro step, right? Well, that was a... Uh, Swedish waltz. Here's a drive in by Thomas. Leaves it on the right side to Isaiah Thomas from Eliza. I'll try to get it back to Eliza. It's knocked out of bounds. They'll say off of Beardstown. Bonds must have bounced it off somebody. Two turnovers on each team now. 22-11. Second time the Sockies have doubled it up on Beardstown. This is their biggest lead of 11. And they shoot for more. And that's with Mendenhall and Petty on the sidelines. Dangerous pass there. That could have been a steal pretty easily for Malumba if he'd have been overly aggressive. Here's Bonds. Out to Grant. That's Hayden, the sophomore. Tom Abe now gets it behind the arc left side. Down low, Allen's got his man pinned. He misses the layup. Rebound, Ethan Grant can't get it to go. Allen gets it back in. Back out to Tom Habe for a three. Line drive shot, no good. Out of bounds off of Ethan Grant. And it will stay, or head, excuse me, Beardstown's direction. 6.57 to play in the half. Some people got mad before they even knew they were what they didn't need to be mad about. Don't wake up mad in the morning, but lots of people do. Don't worry. Be happy. Here's Malumba. Backdoor pass to Brachman as he got free. Puts it up. Shot won't go, but he's fouled. And he'll head to the free throw line. That's going to go against Grant, and that'll be his first, first to the second quarter, 22 to 11. Been stuck there for a while. Hayden Grant with the foul, wearing the number three. Brock Smith's first is up and no good. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank here to help you with your next auto, residential, or commercial loan. Give Damon a call, 217-285-4404. Gavin Epping in, and Alhern sits down. Been playing with two fouls. 6.44 6.44 left in the half. Second one up is good by Broxman. His first point of the night. Makes it a 10-point game, 22-12 of the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. Broxman's got 1,000 points in his career, so he didn't get shut out in the quarter very often. Here's a 10-second call. 
That had to be and my two. Turnover on the Sockies. Like about an eight. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you watch the clock moving. <laughs> but a turnover nonetheless, and Beardstown back on the attack, trying to make it a single-digit game. <laughs> Ball comes to Thomas, works it down low, Malumba. Going to go to work, back to that left hand, shot no good. Rebound down to Eliza Thomas as nobody boxed him out. They work it into Malumba. To Brachman to the corner for a three. It rattles in and out, no good. And the rebound over the back is Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas will pick up his first foul. First foul of the second quarter on Beardstab. The end of the front court, Ethan Gratton gets it from Hayden Gratton, and Ethan is shoved from behind. Foul on the floor here. Rocksmith's going to pick up his second. Second team foul, and we have the entertaining two here. Out of bounds on the baseline for the Sockies. Inbounds pass. Comes in the corner to Ethan Grant. Right back to Tom Mave. Needs to get out of that predicament. And Will with the dribble. Finds Allen. Top of the key. Bonds. 5.57 to play in the half. Trying to get shaped up on the offensive side are the Sockets. Ethan Gratton, top of the key. Works it to Allen at the free throw line. Good look and knocks it home. Needed somebody out there to step up in the offense. He's got six. And it makes it 24 to 12. Tying their largest lead of the contest is Pittsfield. Here's a pass down low. Underneath Epping blocked by Allen, and Allen gets the board. Third board of the night, too. Having a good start. Hayden Grant to Rigston Bonds, a couple of sophomores. Now, Tom Abe on the drive, his shot no good. Rebound loose and down to Isaiah Thomas for the Tigers. Isaiah picks up his first board of the day. I really like these Beardstown uniforms, they're sharp. Here's Malumba left side. What color are Brock Smith's shoes? Green, yellow, kind of like Surge, remember Surge? Yep. Outlawed that, I believe, at one point. Had too much. And too much caffeine, and now they have energy drinks that probably have about uh, 10 times as much. Tom, or, uh, Tom Ave has four boards on the night with 10 points. He's playing like he's had a couple surges before the game. A little energy out of him this evening. 4.40 to play in the half. Pittsfield has a 12-point lead. Tom Ave left wing. Against Epping. He's going to try to drive in now. Fakes the turnaround. Now goes up, has a shot blocked, and the rebound down to Isaiah Thomas. Had a good career in the NBA for a while. Here's a drive in by Brockschmidt. It's a shot no good foul by Tom Avin. Brockschmidt will shoot two. Tom Avin picked up his first, team second. Brockschmidt was under the basket, so they kind of bailed him out a little bit. Now we're going to see Zach DeSoller back in the game on the uh, dead ball after the shot, first free throw. And Kanda, Jordan Kanda into the game, along with Helen. Multiple changes. Brockschmidt's first is good. Real and Twine, they are just north of Pittsville, across from the airport. Look for the large purple orangutan guarding the gate. At Real and Twine, your local headquarters for concrete lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and much, much more. Stop by and see them or call 217-285-5013. Both teams with just a couple of starters on the floor that they started the game with. 24-13 to score. DeSala really short on the second. Nichols gets his second board. What do you call the starters who don't start the game? Restart. Oh, good. Starters like in track. You have, to, you have to be certified to do that, don't you? In track. You do. And you got to have blanks in your gun. I know a couple people who should be certified. 3:55 to play in the half. 24-13, the advantage for Pittsfield. Present company included. Well, I didn't want to name names. You Gratton. shouldn't talk about John and Jacob when they don't have headsets on. Or Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name's my name too. Here's Nichols with a top of the key for three. Good from downtown. The left-handed senior with the tray and makes it a 14-point Saki lead. That's their biggest of the contest. Into the front court, Thomas to Brockschmidt. Sizes up the defender here. Tries to drive in, gets to the rim, and a left-hand shot up and good by Brockschmidt, who does a really nice job guarding the ball with his body. Here's a run out by Ethan Gratton, jump stop and foul, and 
Looks like they're going to do the disco on the sideline here, and he'll shoot two shots. Malumbo will pick up his second. Third team foul. Granton did a nice job on the ball stop there and uh, jump stop and caused the foul. Granton, good there. You know, there's times when you just think something, you shouldn't say it. John Hull in our ears had one of those moments. 28-15. Like, I feel like you're hearing voices. Yeah. I think we could eliminate that sometimes. Second one by Grattan. Nice job on the free throws. 14-point lead. Just over three minutes to play in the half on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction Scoreboard. PCRE Real Estate dot com to see all the latest local listings. Got some good ones right now. Some good uh, farmland, hunting ground. Got the residential properties. Here's Thomas on the runner with the right hand. Good. Eliza Thomas having a good night as he has seven. Makes it a 12-point game. Chris really doing a nice job on those uh, displaying the properties, too. I told him we're going to put him on a headset after his son graduates because we don't let parents on there. It's a bad idea. Here's a lot pass in. Ethan Gratton from his brother Hayden. A little brotherly love by the Gratton brothers and another two for Ethan, he's got five. Call it six. 31-17. Here's a pass on the wing. Goes to Brock Schmidt, trying to get the distance dial. Then no good. Rebound to Malumba. He'll kick it out of the right side for a three by DeSoller. Won't fall. And Tom Ave has the board for the Sockets. Five yeah. of those for Brennan. Nichols lets everybody get across. Now finds Tom Ave. Just a hair under two minutes to play in the first half at a 31-17 score. Graham on the dribble drive, looking for the post. Not open, now to Tom Haber right side. Gets by his man. Over to Nichols. He'll kick to the wing in Graham. Back between the circles to Hayden Grant and Masaki's reset. They'll feed the post to Ethan Grant. A little up and under move. Shot blocked, rebound tipped, and last touched by Malumba, and it'll be Saki basketball. If Malumba would have left alone, Gratton aggressive to the basket. Malumba got the block shot. It would have been Beardstown ball, but instead he went after it. Pittsfield retains, and Alhern will come in with two fouls. We got a timeout. It's an Adams Network timeout. 135 to play in the half. Pittsfield 31, Beardstown 17. top-notch local computer sales and service call Adams Experts 217-214-3423 fast friendly and affordable timeout taken by the Sockies on the Adams network timeout they'll work the ball down low to Tom maybe he'll put it up and in and Brennan Tom maybe with a dozen now to make it 33-17 the Sockies with their largest lead of this affair Rockman with it right side Top of the key to Eliza Thomas. Going to lob it down low to Malumba. Malumba shot no good. Rebound. Allhorn kept it alive. And he was fouled. Call that on Ethan Gratton, maybe. No. Graham, it looks like, wasn't it? He said 14, didn't he? He said 23. Oh, Tom okay. made how about it? He'll sit down with his second foul. Yep. I was confused because I thought he called it on Carter Frazier. And Carter said, I'm not in the game yet. Yet. So, Bonds back in, so three sophomores and a pair of seniors for the Sockies. Here's a drive-in, shot no good. And Exuse Malumba will go to the free throw line. Nichols will pick up the foul. That'll be his first, team fourth. Free throws the other way. Exuse Malumba with six in the contest. 33-17, the score. Pittsfield with the lead. First one up is no good. LSST Trucking and 3D Leasing. For all of your trucking and hauling needs, see the Dunhams and their professional team at LSST Trucking and 3D Leasing, 217-285-2808. Ethan Gratton sits down. He gave his team some really good minutes. They did. Malumba, second, is good. Whoa! And Gratton comes away 
with a knee after he got pushed on that play by Kanda. So count the free throw, and then we'll get a foul here on Kanda. Should be their fourth, I believe. That's what I have as well. Kanda's first. And then Grattan also kind of got his finger caught in the net when he went through there, and that's always dangerous because you could lose one if you get caught there. A finger, that is. 107 to play in the half, 33-18, the advantage for Pittsfield. They're working into the front court, Connor out. Has picked up the dribble, now to Nichols, thought about the three. Under a minute to play in the half. Graham on the drive, out top to Hayden Cratton for a try on the way, no good. Rebound kept alive, but into the hands. Here come the Tigers into the front court. Kanda on the run out, no good. Eliza Thomas puts it back up, won't fall. But he's fouled, and he'll go to the charity strike. Eliza Thomas is going to pick it up or get the free throws. Riggs Bond will pick up the foul. There he is. 15 foul on Pittsfield, but a shooting foul. First man in Kanda kind of bounced it off the backboard. I thought maybe they had some kind of a dunk play going on. First one, no good. Waters Concrete. Tim Waters and company, they offer quality concrete for your new build, driveways, decorative patios, sidewalks, anything with concrete. Waters Concrete, ready to serve you. 309-252-1052. Mendenhall, Petty, Tom Hay ball back in with two fouls apiece. Second free throw is good by Thomas. He's got eight. And makes it a 14-point game with 43 seconds to play in the half. Mendenhall with it to Tom Hay. Back to Mendenhall across the half-court line. Way out front as Pittsfield will hold for a final shot here with 30 seconds to play in the second period. They've led all but the first couple of uh, seconds of this contest. Trailed 2-0 and have uh, taken the lead and not given it back since. Here's Gratton to Tom Hay with 13 ticks, guarded by Brockschmidt. Dribbles toward the right wing. Down low, now to Mendenhall out top. He'll leave it to Grant to Tom Abe near the volleyball spike line. He'll put up a fadeaway three. It's an air ball with uh, time expiring. We head to halftime. The little Jess Motors halftime show. It's the Pittsfield Sockies 33, the Beardstown Tigers 19. Halftime stats and more your way next on Central Illinois Sports. Today's halftime show is brought to you by Little Jess Motor Company. Warmer weather and topless doorless adventures are right around the corner. Stop out to Little Jess today to check out our large selection of Jeep Wranglers. We currently have 15 Wranglers in stock and many more on their way. Right now you can drive a new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door sport for only $4.99 per month with absolutely zero down. Is a four-door more your style? Drive a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport for only $5.99 per month with zero down. Little Jess serving the Tri-States for seven decades. From bag, to field, to bin, Prairieland FS is your home for quality seed. We treat it right here at one of our local facilities, deliver it right to your farm, and then provide the propane to fuel your bins. Have confidence in what you're putting in your engine with our energy specialist. They're focused on maximizing power, fuel efficiency, and engine protection to keep you going. We're neighbors serving neighbors. Prairieland FS, your leading supplier of choice. At Farmer State Bank, we believe in community, teamwork, and success. We're thrilled to announce that we've been named the best place to work in Illinois and the best community bank in America this year. Join us on this winning team where your dreams take center court at Farmer State Bank. We're a team. Discover the difference. The best place to bank, the best place to work. Because when our community wins, we all win. Where community, excellence, and opportunity come together. Farmer State Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. At Full Throttle Parts, we do spray on bed liners, a brand called Patriot Liner. It is very elite. It actually enhances the resale value of anything you put it on, on or off road. Go Full Throttle! Go Full Throttle. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams Counties. Call 217 217- 593-7233. That's 593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Jesse Schumann and Emily Matthews at Illinois FBFM in Camp Point. Working for you. 
Welcome back on the Little Jess Motors halftime show. A 33-19 lead for the Pittsfield Sockies on top of the Beardstown Tigers at the halftime break. And Jack has a look at some of your halftime stats. Well, it was a 22-11 game after one quarter, 33-19 at halftime. So a 9-8 second quarter. Pittsfield turned it over two times. Beardstown turned it over two times. Two fouls on Brennan Tom Have, two on Javen Petty, two on Eli Mendenhall. Single fouls on Hayden Gratton. Riggs Bonds, Lucas Nichols. On the other side, Beardstown with two fouls on Al Horn and Malumba. One foul on Kanda, two on Brock Smith also in the first half. It is a 33-19 lead at halftime. Individual stats, shooting percentages, and more come your way on the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Press Shears on You would like to wish all the area teams the best of luck this year. If you're looking to get your team shirts or just looking for spirit wear for yourself, remember Press Shears on You. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space in our shop. Stop by and see us and check out our offerings. Business lets us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. Thank you to everyone in our community for the support over the last 16 years. Thank you for supporting local. Press Shears on You, 506 Westwood. Camp Point, Illinois. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon Boys. To get it right the first time, no job too big. Have you seen Brayton and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, couldn't resist. Call Brayton at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon Plumbing, recommended by our family for your family. Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert truck and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. Welcome back to the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Little Jess, 3431 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. The place to go when you're in the market for a new vehicle. New and pre-owned vehicles on the lot right now where they can find what you'd like at Little Jess Motors. 3431 Main Street in Quincy or online at littlejessmotor.com. Three of our family members have vehicles from Little Jess and appreciate the service and the way they got treated there. We appreciate them being our halftime sponsor of everything we do on Central Illinois Sports. 33-19 at halftime. How did we get there? Beardstown did it this way. Eight points from Elijah Thomas. They all came in the second quarter with the exception of one bucket. Uh, Malumbe had seven points all in the first quarter. DeSoller was six or what am I saying, zero, I should say. Jordan Kanda with none, and also Isaac Brocksmith with four points in the first half. Pittsfield fairly balanced scoring, but Brennan Domave had a half. 12 points, five rebounds, picked up two fouls also. Six points from Connor Allen, six from Ethan Gratton off the bench, each one of them with three rebounds in the first half. A three from Lucas Nichols, four points from Javen Petty in limited time, Eli Mendenhall with just two points in the first half after being in double figures last night. 30, last night, 11 of 23 for Pittsfield, 47.5%. 4 of 9 from the arc, 44%. 7 of 11 from the free throw line, 63%. Beardstown, 7 of 22, 1 of 7, and 4 of 7. It is a 33-19 halftime lead for the Sockies. Second half comes your way on the Little Jess Motors halftime show after the Jersey's world, Jersey's world, party time, excellent. Party on, Jay. Party on, Todd. 
Jersey's Bar and Grill in Cam Point, where you can find the best burgers, sandwiches, and steaks, all locally sourced from GJY Beef Company. We love beer! We love beer! Ice cold draft beer. Enjoy one of our many craft selections on the patio. All at Jersey's Bar and Grill, 109 East Jefferson, Cam Point, Illinois. United Community Bank has been serving our community in banking since 1973 and is a proud member of the Pittsfield Strong United Community. UCB brings you the latest banking technology, security, and convenience you expect. Delivered with friendly local service you deserve from your community bank. UCB invites you to stop in for a visit at number one professional plaza in Pittsfield or you can find them online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank, the leader of community banking, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sign up for a Saki Rewards debit card. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. That's why we know what it takes to succeed both on your balance sheet and in your life. It takes the right financial partner who looks at where you are now and where you want to go and design a financial plan to take you there so you can achieve the life you're after today and every day after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Sheila Davidsmeyer today. Her office is located at 311 West Washington in Pittsfield, Illinois. Or visit SheilaDavidsmeyer.nm.com. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. GSI grain bins are built using the highest strength steel available. This allows you to store more grain to maximize your profitability and efficiency. Buy one now and receive our winter discount program. Make sure Lumber Company, your GSI grain bin dealer. Hey, grab me one too. Today's halftime show is brought to you by Little Jeff's Motor Company. Warmer weather and topless doorless adventures are right around the corner. Stop out to Little Jeff's today to check out our large selection of Jeep Wranglers. We currently have 15 Wranglers in stock and many more on their way. Right now you can drive a new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door sport for only $4.99 per month with absolutely zero down. Is a four-door more your style? Drive a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport for only $5.99 per month with zero down. Little Jeff's serving the Tri-States for seven decades. Ready for second half action as Pittsburgh leads Beardstown 33-19 at the break. Beardstown will have the basketball to start the second half of play. They have Isaiah and Eliza Thomas, Brock Schmidt, Allhorn, and Malumba. That's the way they started the contest. Pittsfield counters with Hayden Grattan, Petty, Mendenhall, Allen, and Tom Have. Starters both ways to start the third quarter. Thomas with it on the wing on the right side. Gets it to Malumba. Malumba likes to go left. Turn around, shot up and good for Exuse Malumba with another two to make it a 12-point contest. He's got nine on the night. Mendenhall in the backcourt to Petty. Petty didn't play at all in the second quarter other than the last 10 seconds or so. As he picked up two fouls at the 114 mark of the first. Not both, but the second one, you get it. Out top, Allen looks in the paint. Now to Grant. He'll pull up for a three. It's in and out, no good. Rebound to Mendenhall. He'll put it back up and in. Four for him, second board of the night. So much like the first half started, the second half starts with both teams making a bucket on their opening possession. Here's Thomas, gets to the middle and to the rim, and in for two. Eliza Thomas is in double figures now with ten. He tucks that ball and goes right by you. As Brad Tom have yelled, no middle, he went middle. Right side with it is Grant. Leaves it on the left wing over to Tom, maybe but a big first half. Looks for the lob down low as Mendenhall gets set up underneath against Malumba, puts it up and in for two. Mendenhall, a good strong finish. He's got six in limited action tonight. And it makes it a 14 point Saki lead again. Malumba gets to the left side. And I don't know if you notice, he's left handed. Has he shot might. everything on that left side. He might go left. Allen into the front court for the Sockies. He'll work it to Petty. Petty will dribble it back out front and is fouled by Malumba. 
That'll be his third first team foul of the second half. At this point, if your beard's down, down by 12, you don't pull people with three fouls quite as quickly, I don't think, if there's scores for you. When he set down, Pittsfield kind of broadened that lead in the first half. A bounce pass out front to Tom Have. He'll pull up for a three, no good. Rebound, Mendenhall kept it alive and secures the offensive board. Works at Atame for another three-point opportunity. Off the back iron won't fall. And the rebound to Isaiah Thomas. Gets it to Eliza Thomas. Quickly into the front court for Beardstown. Three-pointer could make this a single-digit game. Eliza Thomas with it. Out top to Malumba. Over to Isaiah Thomas on the right side. He'll work it to Brock Schmidt. Brock Schmidt's been kind of quiet on the offensive side, but good solid players. All horn on the shot, no good. And the rebound is pulled down by Mindenhall for the Sockets. Four of them, three in the second half already. Allen, right side to Tom Have. He'll try the dribble drive this time, get to the window and score two more. 14 for him now. 39-25 Sockets on the PCRE scoreboard. Stop the dribble penetration on the guards. You can build on that lead. Here's Thomas with it on the bounce out front. Works off the Malumba screen. Going to hit him on the roll now. Put it on the deck. Kicks it back out top. Brock Schmidt for a three, and he'll nail it from downtown. Seven points for him now. He was quiet in the first half. That's a down to an 11-point contest. This is the Beardstown team that can put up points in a hurry, so you don't want to fall asleep if you're Pittsfield. This Good right. recognition by Mendenhall there, not throwing the pass and getting the over and back. Tom Have out of the double team, finds Gratton on the baseline jump shot short. Rebound down to Mendenhall. He'll put it back up and in. Two more for the big fella. Eight for him. Six and a half. 41-28. Here's Brockman on a pull-up three, and he's starting to heat it up now for the Tigers and pulls them within ten. Allen to Tom Have. He'll let everybody clear out to bring the ball up across the half-court line. Works toward the left wing. Back out front to Petty. Bounce pass in to Allen. Shot up no good. Foul. And Connor Allen heads to the free throw line to shoot two. Alhorn's going to pick up his third foul. Second man with three fouls for that squad. Or am I wrong? They called that on Alhorn? Oh, no. Alhorn. Yeah, on Just Alhorn. like you said, actually. Yeah, I, yeah what, what was I saying again? Who won that argument, by the way? I did. 41-31, 402 left third quarter. Allen's first is up and good. He's been pretty darn good from the free throw line during the season. Pike County Concrete, if you need concrete for your next job or project, give Pike County Concrete a call, 217-285-5548 with locations in Pittsfield and Jacksonville. Please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. The old broadcaster jinx is alive. Darn it. He misses that one. He's been pretty good until now. <laughs> you ever done that, Charlie? Never. Under four minutes to play in the third. Beardstown in the hands of Malumba. Has it bounce away and stolen away by Tom Abe. Tom Abe dribble drive out of the front court. Bumped in foul by Malumba on the floor. Malumba's going to pick up his fourth. Third team foul be Pittsfield basketball. Taylor Graham into the game. They have him on the board for three. Uh, as he'll sit down as into the contest, Kanda returns. They say just three on Malumba. Still going to sit down, isn't he? Inbounds pass, Tom Abe gets it to Allen. Back to Tom Abe. Checks his feet, puts up a three, and it's good. 17 for him now. 45-31, the Sockies lead. They've led by as many as 16 in the ballgame, lead by 14 right now. Brock Schmidt on the right side to DeSoller. Looks to go to work, drives middle. Kicks to Isaiah Thomas. Back to DeSoller. Turnaround shot, tough one, gets it to go. Tough one when you're only about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, DeSoller's first basket of the contest. For the Tigers. Tom Have now. Dribble drive into the front court. Shot up and in for two more. He's having a big night. Could have had an and one there if very possibly. 47 33. Been a lot of points scored already in the second half. A lot of points scored in this game compared to a lot of times. Here's Brachman on a pull up. No good. Rebound off of Mindenhall and out of bounds and it stays with Beardstown underneath. Here's Ethan Gratton back into the game. He'll sit down 
Allen for the Sockies. Graham has also returned to the lineup just moments ago. Gratton's got three boards, six points. A bounce pass to Kanda. Works off the screen. Now the DeSaller for a three. It's off the rim, no good. And a foul on the rebound. Called on Kanda. Kanda's second, fourth team foul. Not on Pittsfield in the uh, second or third quarter. 47-33, 242 left in the quarter. Pulled the pressure back. Like you said, without Allhorn in there, they're not very tall. Nope. Graham right wing. So should you yell, use your big guys. They'll get it to Ethan Grant. He'll attack down low, and he says, I'm the biggest man on the playground now. Puts it in for another two. Eight for him. 49-33, tying their largest lead of the ball game for the Sockies. Here's DeSoller. Kicks it out right side, Kanda. He'll work against Tommy. By the ball knocked free, stolen away by Ethan Grant. Looking for a guard. Now has a knock loose and stolen right back. DeSoller on the drive, and he'll be called four. An offensive foul. DeSoller will pick up the foul. His first team fifth player control turnover number five. No free throws to be shot this time. Ethan or Hayden Gratton into the game. Mendenhall sits down. Lucas Nichols in the game. Petty sits down. And we get a timeout on the Adams Fiber timeout for fast, reliable internet that doesn't buffer no matter what life throws at you. It's Adams Fiber. Visit followthefiber.net. Hey, grab me one too. Game Masters is your headquarters for all your hunting gear. We have more than just camo hunting attire. Come check out our casual lines of Sitka, Under Armour, North Face, Columbia, Drake, and more. Pursue your prey with these off-road quiet cat bikes from Game Masters. Easy to transport and perfect for your next hunting adventure. Game Masters, we're passionate about the outdoors. 49-33 is the Pittsfield lead. If you had bet the over on the over-under on fan ejections at .5, cast your ticket at the window. Out of bounds for Pittsfield length of the court to go with Graham, both of the brothers, Gratton, Nichols, and Tom Hay for the Sockies. Kid worked really hard like a washing machine to get kicked out, and he finally pulled it off. Yeah, yeah. He was really working at it. I just say always looking for officials. Here's Gratton with it on the left side. Not to mention his Gets scarecrow. It to Nichols. Little bounce pass down to Gratton Webb on the reverse side. No good. And the rebound down to Malumba. His He'll second of the night. Work it to Brock Schmidt. Little hesitation move. Picks up the bounce to Malumba out front. 130 to play in the third. Ball now stolen away by Nichols. And Pittsfield shooting for their biggest lead of this contest. Already a 16-point lead. Gratton, lob pass in to Ethan Gratton from Hayden. Misses the layup. Rebound down to Isaiah Thomas. It's a Debrock Schmidt. Turnaround shot. Good if it goes. And we're caught on the floor. It's going to be Gratton with the foul. His first or second. First of the third quarter. Three seniors back in and Allen, Mendenhall, and Petty, Lucas Nichols, Taylor Graham, and Ethan Gratton all sit down. We're trying to get Ethan into double figures there. Didn't quite happen yet. But a good game, though. Oh, my. Really good game. You get minutes like that out of him, that's huge. Well, and as they head toward the postseason, he could be a guy that could give you some really good minutes. On both ends. Here's a missed three by Brockman. Rebound to Hayden Gratton. And with 50 seconds to play in the third, Pittsfield has the basketball and the 16-point lead. Tom Abound front against Thomas. 
Works it on the left side. Hayden Granton out top to Mendenhall. Over to Tom Hayden. Looking to the post. Now to Petty, top of the key. To Granton as Pittsfield holds for a final shot here, possibly, with 30 seconds to play, but a near steal. Now as bodies go flying, and the Sockies will have a turnover here in the backcourt. It'll be Beardstown basketball now with 27.1 seconds to play in the third. Graham right back into the action. He'll sit down Hayden Granton for the last 27 seconds of this third quarter. Thomas will be the man to throw it in. That's I excuse me, that's Eliza Thomas. Isaiah's wearing zero tonight. Now to balloon bomb the dribble drive. Goes right at Allen on the right side. No good. And the rebound into Mendenhall's hands. And Pittsfield will again have a chance to try to hold for a last shot. Five boards in the second half for him. Here's Tom Maybe on the dribble drive. Gets to the rim. Runner up no good. Brockschmidt with the rebound. He'll push it quickly into the front court. Kick it out to Thomas on the left side. Three off the rim. No good as the buzzer sounds. And we head to quarter number four. It's the Pittsfield Sockies 49. The Beardstown Tigers 33. Fourth quarter play-by-play. You are way next on Central Illinois Sports. Now that the new year is upon us, it's time to focus on the important things like Wi-Fi, strong connections, and high speed. This is the perfect time to tell you to call Cascom today. We specialize in all of those important needs. With our high-speed fiber optic service, we make your life easier. Whether that's online streaming, gaming, or just wanting good local TV channels, we have it all. So give us a call today at 1-800-252-1799. Kate Marable, real estate broker with Hometown Real Estate, would like to say good luck to all area teams and hopes everyone has a successful and healthy season. When you're in the market for a new home or would like to sell your home, be sure to call Kate Marable. Kate is a lifelong resident of the area and has experience in first-time home buyers, FHA, USDA, and VA loans. Call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809 for Kate Marable and Hometown Real Estate. Ready to start corner number four. Pittsfield has the 16-point lead and the basketball. 49-33, Saki's on top of Beardstown. As we're underway here in the fourth. Tom on the right side. His next basket would give him 20-plus uh, in this game. He'll work it out top to Petty. Petty going to line up three and hit it from the top of the key. Seven for him now. Up and in to make it 52-33. Here's a pass on the right side to Thomas. Now Brock Schmidt. Looks off the Allhorn screen. Pulls up for a three. It's no good. And the rebound pulled in by Allen. Give Allen five boards in the night. Pittsfield's had a lot of rebounds, but a lot of opportunities. Graham in the corner right side for the Sockies. Out top to Tom Hayes. Roots down just 13 to 36 in the night. An offensive foul called on Taylor Graham, I do believe. Yes, sir. Graham will pick up his first. That'll be a turnover, the fifth on Pittsfield. First foul in the fourth quarter. And ball to the Beardstown Tigers. As Brock Schmidt has it on the wing, has picked up the bounce. Works to Malumba in the corner. Drives to the baseline, shot up, blocked, and the rebound down to Connor Allen. Second block, six board. Into the front court comes Petty. Connor's been pretty solid most of the games this half of the season. Here's Allen on the drive in, leans back, gets it to go. Good strong take, and Pittsburgh has a 21 point lead. 20 plus for the first time tonight with 6.30 left. Here's a pass down low to Malumba. Malumba kicks it out. Ball tipped. Run down by Thomas. Saved to Malumba. Has to run it down way out front. Now he'll attack toward the left side. Shot up no good. Foul by Allen. Allen will pick up the foul. His first foul of the ball game. Second team foul. Malumba to the free throw line. 11 points on the night. 0 for 1 from there. 54-33, 6-18 left in regulation. Malumba, who's the senior, been pretty impressive tonight. First one up is good. 
Bowlers Universe open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Fridays until midnight. Saturdays, 4 to midnight. Check out the great menu at Bowlers Universe. And come out tomorrow night for the Queen of Hearts drawing, presented by Saki Nation. Tickets on sale from 6.30 to 8 at Bowlers Universe in Pittsfield. Luma makes them both. He's got 13, leads the way for Beardstown. 54-35. Tom A with it out top. Marks it over to Graham. Back to Tom A. They're joined by Allen Petty and Mendenhall. Tom A's picked up the dribble. Needs a little help here. Now free to Graham and a timeout taken by Brad Tom A on the Adams Network timeout. 5.59 left, 54.35. Pittsfield leads Beardstown. I love training. I like to help people improve on their tasks. That food has been providing everything for me. They just treat you so well. When my life needed an opportunity, I chose that. Hey, West Central Illinois, are you looking for a great deal on a vehicle? Well, at Westtown Ford, we have a lot full of vehicles, cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. We've got them all, and a lot of them, at Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. 5.59 to play in the ball game. Timeout taken by Pittsfield. They have three timeouts left, and they have a 54-35 advantage in this ballgame. And they'll have the basketball on the sideline right in front of their own bench. Student section in force tonight. A lot of kids. The way we like to see it. And bounce pass to Mendenhall. Looks to Tom Abe on the right side. And he's the screen and roll action. Now Petty gets involved out top. Graham feeds it quickly to Mendenhall. Shot up, counted and one. Mendenhall with his 10th point of the night. Didn't get the foul. He told, he told us a little quicker than I was ready. It's going to go on Brock Smith. It'll be his third. Team first to the fourth quarter. And one for Mendenhall. Graham in. Taylor, or Taylor Graham sits down. Hayden Gratton back in. That's what I was trying to say. Big second half for Eli Mendenhall, rattles it home. That's nine of his 11 in the half. 57-35, the Saki lead, 22. On the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. Thomas with it out top on the bounce. Hands it off to Brock Schmidt, lines up for the deep three and knocks it down again. 13 for him now. He's had a big second half, and Pittsfield kind of went under that screen rather than hedging it there and gave up the good look to Brockman. Typical good shooter. You can't leave him alone. Tom Abe Mendenhall tried to find Allen, had to save it in. Out to Petty. Petty on the dribble drive. A little up and under. Can't get it to go. Malumba pulls down the board. His third of the night. Bounce pass down loaded. to Soller underneath his reverse layup won't fall. And the rebound pulled in by Mendenhall. Just under five minutes left. As Tom A brings it into the front court. Works it to Granton on the left side. Now Tom A gets a touch. Looking at the post. Mendenhall is held here by Heller. Ethan Heller will pick up the foul. It'll be his first of the ball game. Second team foul. Back in comes Isaiah Thomas and Alhorn in. Sit down to Soller. Also sitting down is Heller. Petty to inbound. It's underneath, gets it into Mendenhall. His shot is up and in for two. 13 for him now. Still 4.33 to play. Seniors are starting to understand there's not much left. You got to go hard all the time. Malumba puts up a runner, no good, and the rebound pulled in by Grant. He's pulled three boards down tonight. Off to Tom Aven, he'll work it across for the Sockies. Kicks it left side, Allen. Allen dribble drive to the rim. Ooh. Has a shot blocked, and the rebound down to Isaiah Thomas. That's aggressive. Gets it off to Brock Schmidt. He'll try the runner up and in for two more. He's got 15. 19 point game with under four minutes left. Protect yourself. Getting a little physical out there. Mendenhall with a left wing. 
He'll try the drive on the baseline. Gets it out front to Petty. Now Grant around it comes to Allen. Pittsfield's led all but when they trailed 2 nothing early in this game. Here's Allen on an off-balance shot. Can't get it to go. And the rebound run down by Malumba. Thomas on the dribble. Pulls up for a three. No good. Rebound Alhorn. Tipped it alive to Malumba. Second chance opportunity here. To Isaiah Thomas on the left wing. Eliza Thomas feeds the post to Malumba. Malumba with a little one-foot step back shot. No good. Rebound pulled in by Pittsfield's Allen. Three minutes left. Seven boards for Allen on the night. Gratton into the front court and finds Petty. Now Tom Have. Gets it to Mendenhall. Right side to Hayden Gratton. He's got the tape kind of coming off the wrist here. Kind of looks like a mummy. Demummifying. And they'll give him a chance to take that off of his wrist. And we bought a bounce to Pittsfield. On the sideline is Ethan Gratton will check in. He'll sit down Allen for the Sockies. 2.43 left. Patty the man to throw it in. Looking. He'll throw it into the backcourt to Tom Have. As he brings it across the center line. Left side, Gratton. Thought about the three, turns it down. The to Tom Ave on the left side. Tom Ave into a double team, needs a little help, and a timeout called by Brad Tom Ave. 229 left on the Adams Fiber timeout with Wi Fi 6 and uh, internet packages up to 1 gigabit. It's Adams Fiber. Visit followthefiber.net. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owners agents at BNP Insurance Agency, Barber Agency. See Pat Vandevelde, Caleb Vandevelde, or Mary Coltis. They'll find our location at 114 South Madison Street in Pittsfield. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project, from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. 2.29 to play. Pittsfield on top by 19 points. Out of the Adams Fiber timeout, the Sockies will have the basketball on the baseline here. Grand out front to Petty. Gets it over to Tom Hay. Picks up the dribble. Now to Petty near the sideline. To Tom Hay right side. Let's see him get another basket here. Now to Mendenhall. Underneath turnaround shot up and in for two more. And then Fairly limited minutes. Eli Mendenhall's made the most of it. He's got 15. And makes it a 61-40 Saki lead. Thomas on the bounce for Beardstown. Gets it out top to Malumba. Malumba will drive it against Grant. Grant does a nice job to hold his ground. Off to Brock Schmidt. Steps back for a deep three now. Rims in and out. No good. Bodies fly underneath. And Mendenhall secures the board. Give him eight boards on the night. Seven of those in the second half. 15 points, 13 of those in the second half. Double team comes at Tom Abe. He'll work out of it to Petty. To Granton on the left side now. 21-point game with a minute 30 to play. Tom Abe into a double team. Dribbles away from the man. To Mendenhall. Shot fake. Drives in. Shot no good. Fouled and he'll head to the charity strike. I think it's Allhorn, but we'll see. Yep. Allhorn's going to pick up his fourth. Third team foul. Mendenhall the free throw line. <clears throat> First time that Eli's been there tonight. 15 points. First one up, good. 16 now. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank here to help you with your next auto residential or commercial loan. Give Damon a call, 217-285-4404. Wholesale changes. Riggs Bond. 
Taylor Graham, Lucas Nichols, Ethan Gratton going to come out of the game for Clayton Reinhardt. Mendenhall at the free throw line. 125 left, 62 to 40. Sweeting will come in if Mendenhall makes this. He misses it so he can stay in the game, I think, don't you? Some finals from around the area. Brown County beat Western 59 to 43. Drew Marker, Carter Havens, each with 14 points apiece for Brown County. Quincy High beat Olliman 78-33. And if I beat them, I mean like a drum. And Camp Point Central defeated Illini West 54-43 on their senior night victory. Lucas Nichols with the foul. His second. Mendenhall down, sweeting in. 62-40, 109 left. Inbounding the ball. Georgetown's got it in. And they get a left side to Kanda. They're trying to dribble drive. Kanda's runner up, no good. Partially blocked in the rebound down to Sweeting for the Sockies. And to the front court with it is Connor Sweeting out to Nichols with 49 seconds left. Minute 12 to play in the game at South County. It's South County 51, Briggsville Perry 46. Tornado's going to need a comeback tonight on the road. It's a big one with the uh, ratings coming out tomorrow. It's going to be a tough one to seed. That is. South County's got three wins over Rowd on the season, somebody told me today. Huh. Here's Sweeting to Nichols as Pittsburgh looks to just hold this one out and they will they'll move to 18 and 8 on the season beardstown drops to 18 and 9. pits with a big victory here over beardstown and what could be a pivotal game for postseason seedings the final seconds tick off the clock and the sockies win this one by a final of 62 to 40. And we take you to the blessing health system post game show final stats we'll name our player of the game and visit with Saki head coach brad tom Abe. stay tuned on central illinois sports the heart is the hardest working muscle in your body. If something goes wrong with it, you need a medical team that works just as hard. You need Blessing Health's Open Heart Surgery Team, celebrating 20 years of delivering life-saving care to tri-state residents. Patients and families choose Blessing Health's Open Heart Surgery Team for its experience, quality, and heartwarming compassion. Get the most out of your hardworking heart. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project, from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. Sports families, come check out Central Valley Sports, the new facility in town. Located three miles south of Winchester at 520 Winchester Glasgow Road. Batting cages, pitching mounds, pitching machines, and more. Open to all ages and skill levels. The facility is available for team rental, individual membership, and family memberships. Be sure to check out the Central Valley Sports Facebook page for more information and stay up to date on individual lessons and camps offered throughout the year. GSI grain bins are built using the highest strength steel available. This allows you to store more grain to maximize your profitability and efficiency. Buy one now and receive our winter discount program. Make sure Lumber Company, your GSI grain bin dealer. Is predator hunting your thing? Game Masters has you covered. We have way more than just deer and turkey hunting gear, safes, clothes, and gifts. Come check out our predator guns, calls, decoys, lights, traps, binoculars, bipods, tripods, and shooting sticks. Don't forget your thermal and night vision, rifle scopes, trapping equipment, and supplies. Whether your next game pursuit is big or small, runs or flies, Game Masters has what you need to get the job done. We're passionate about the outdoors. 
Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You've heard that phrase many times in Rod Prentice in Pittsfield. Your State Farm agent is the guy you can count on to be your friend and neighbor in the insurance business. He has a complete line of insurance available for you from State Farm Insurance. You can reach him at 217-285-6930. Our family trusts Rod Prentice with all of our insurance needs. Stop by their office on Washington Street and see the girls in Rod Prentice, your State Farm agent, 217-285-6930. Welcome back on the Blessing Health System post-game show. Final of this one, Pittsfield wins their 18th game of the season, defeating Beardstown 62-40. to The Sockeys trailed 2-0 early, took the lead after going on a 7-10-0 uh, run in the contest and never looked back, defeating the Tigers by 22 here in front of a good crowd at Boschel Gymnasium. Pitts will be back home again on Friday night as they place Play host to Western and on the Blessing Health System post game show. Jack's got a look at your final stats. 22 to 11 at the end of the first quarter, 33 19 at half, a 14 point lead. 49 33, 16 point lead after three. Win it by 22, 62 to 40. Turnovers five on Pittsfield, just six on Beardstown. Beardstown was 15 of 44, 34%, three of 14 from the arc, 21%, six of 10 from the free throw line led by Isaac Brocksmith, who had 11 of his 15 in the second half. Also, uh, Malumba had 13 points in the ball game. Eight, or let's see, 10 for Eliza Thomas. Eight of those came in the first half for them. And that was uh, two points from DeSoller, four guys in the scoring call. Pittsfield, 23 of 46, 50%. Six of 12 from the arc, 50%. 10 of 16 from the free throw line. 62.5%. Nobody fouled out in the ball game. Pittsfield led by Brennan Tomei with 19 points and six boards. Eli Mendenhall, 16 points and eight boards. Also, Connor Allen with nine points, seven boards. Ethan Gratton with eight points and four rebounds on the night. So they really took care of business rebounding with that height advantage. A three from Lucas Nichols on the night rounds out the scoring for Pittsfield and they win it 62-40 to 40 to get their 18th win of the season. We step aside on the Blessing Health System postgame. Shall we visit with Saki and Coach Brad Tomei next on Central Illinois Sports. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. I'm Chris Nichols with PCRE Real Estate and Auction here in Pittsfield. For 15 years now, I've been specializing in selling farmland and hunting properties, along with homes and commercial real estate. Whether it's helping a seller get a premium price out of their home or assisting a buyer to find the farm of their dreams, I pride myself on providing elite customer service. Give me a call today at 217-473-3777 if I can help with any of your real estate needs. Or feel free to jump on our website at pcrerealestate.com. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217 222 7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. Welcome back on the post-game show. Blessing Health System, our post-game sponsor, visiting with Saki head coach Brad Tommy following a 62-40 win for the Beardstown Tigers. And coach, you know, over the years, this Beardstown team, uh, and they did tonight again, continuously puts good athletes on the floor, a high-energy team. And if you don't come ready to play, this team can run you out of the gym at times. Your team trailed 2 nothing, and after that, they didn't trail again. Uh, that group was a little more focused tonight when they came into action. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah they were, right? and... From the tip, I, it's, aside from getting down 2-0, you know, I thought we controlled controlled the game on both ends of the floor. Um, built up a lead by halftime. Um, 
talked about some things that we thought they were going to come out and do to us defensively, try to get the game into their speed and, and maybe a little hectic, uh, uh, pushing up and down the floor, and trapping us all over, and we had to be ready to go to our 21 stuff, which I think uh, I thought we did. They come down, they scored the first, I think, five or six possessions of their, their offensive uh, possessions in the third quarter. But the good thing about it was we were executing and we didn't panic and we were scoring at the same time. So uh, they weren't able to, they, were, they chipped a little bit, but then we extended it again um, to finish the third quarter um, and then executed uh, as, as well as we have all year late game stuff where we kind of kept our composure, um, where they were trying to speed us up and we, we, we were able to slow down and stay strong and um, get the ball where we wanted to get the ball um, when you have a lead to try to control your offense. So uh, it was good to see. You had a big lead in the first half. You kind of got into a little foul trouble, but the guys who maybe didn't have their sharpest nights last night were big for you off the bench tonight to come in and help maintain that lead. Huge. We, uh, that was one of the things we talked about there in the uh, locker room there after the game was our bench guys gave us great, great minutes. Um, when we were in foul trouble with Eli Connor and Javen sitting on the bench with two fouls, uh, <clears throat> I thought all those guys came in. Ethan Gratton, I think, was probably his best game. He played, he's played to date. Uh, um, you know, Riggs and, and Taylor and Lucas. Uh, you know, they they came in and and uh, did some really nice things. Lucas uh, stuck a big three there in the second quarter when they were kind of collapsing down on our post play. When we were able, to, we were having success down there, and we, we were finding him. And Lucas towed it and knocked it down. So. Um, I thought collectively it was a it was a good team effort, good team win tonight, both ends of the floor. I'm not saying this just because he's your son, but nobody's worked harder than Brennan Tomey in the offseason to make himself better throughout his high school career. And he had, you know, a night last night that he, he'd like to forget and a night tonight with 19 points that kind of uh, one to remember. But that's kind of why you can't get too high or too low in this season because, uh, you know, the next night sometimes you just flip the script. Yeah, he did. He had a, he had a nice night tonight. It's good. It seems to when he sees the first one goes in, you know, then we're going to try to get him the basketball. And um, he, he kind of went cold there from the uh, three-point line. But what I liked about him is he looked to get to the get to his feet in the paint and use his height a little bit and his strength um, that he's worked on. So um, good to see. Had a nice game again. Um, he kind of keeps us under control at times, and and uh, I think the kids feed off of that and um, played the defensive end of the floor. Uh, I thought. Uh, uh, pretty well too, as they all did. And, and Eli had another nice night um, with 16 and, and getting him the ball down the block. He's getting <clears throat> more composed and control down there, not forcing things when, like kind of we, maybe we saw earlier in the season. So uh, uh, I thought Connor finished down and took the ball to the rim there at the at the end of the game. I said I have no problem with those takes that you take when you're powerful and you're saying I'm going to the rim, so stop me. It's when he tried. He got up there a couple times and didn't know what to do with it and tried to. <clears throat> tried to make a, a circus uh, shot when I don't know if that's in our game quite yet. So um, uh, I don't mind those things, even if they even if they miss it. Uh, they're 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 understanding how to uh, how to attack and and um, you know the more they do that, the more comfortable they're going to be in those situations. So um, good good team effort tonight collectively. Eli had 14 in the second half, six of his seven boards in the second half. But the thing that I really like. There was a time when you only had maybe one or two starters out there, and the guys that were with them were looking to score instead of looking to get rid of the ball as quick as they could. Because you're going to need that when you get down to the, the brass. Yeah, they weren't. They definitely weren't scared of the moment, and <clears throat> they stayed composed. And and they had a, the, you know, that's getting a feel of how the game's being played when you're sitting on the bench, um, where we're having success. You you know, you got to be a good teammate and a good cheerleader when you're over there, but you also have to be watching the game and the flow and. Um, find and seeing where we're having success scoring offensively, and they were able to come in, and and it was uh, I I just remember one particularly Taylor um, caught it on the wing after a full reversal, and his eyes went right to the post and made a great zip pass into Eli, and Eli <coughs> caught, scored, got an and one, and that was a huge again every one of those baskets uh, um, and situations either getting getting a bucket and getting somebody in foul trouble is just, you know, can be demoralizing when the team's out trying to pressure you a little bit. So try to uh, reinforce to them we don't need to get dribble happy. We need, we need to get strong. And, and as fast as they are, they, they can't catch our passes. They can't catch up to the pass, but they can sure catch up to the dribble. So um, good, good win tonight. But we, we still got a lot of things to work on and, and, and get better tomorrow. A couple of days <clears> on the gym, back at it here on Friday night. 
against a Western squad who's played better this second half of the season, and they're always a team that uh, you got you got to take it seriously any time. No matter who the opponent is, you got to go in. You can't overlook anybody at this time of the year. No, we're competing with ourselves, uh, uh, and whoever walks out there, we're, we're trying to do and, and, and sharpen the things we're doing well and get better at some of the things we're not doing well. Um, and it just happens to be Western on Friday, so they're playing. They always give us a good game, and they'll be ready to play here. Um, our seniors, it'll be their senior night, so it'll be, uh, it'll be nice to honor them and their families uh, for all the time that they've spent uh, with the program all the way down to third grade. So, um, <clears throat> so it'll be a good night for everybody, not just the basketball guys, but everybody that will be honored. So I encourage, I encourage all of you, even though this is a great resource that our, that our community has, uh, come out and support those kids uh, in-house on Friday. Um, band, sockets, <clears throat> cheer, anthem singers, basketball, everybody that will be honored on Friday night. So uh, uh, looking forward to see everybody. I say this sort of tongue-in-cheek, but it's always good when the guy-girl dance isn't the highlight of the night for the basketball <laughs> game. Coach, as the Sockets yeah. get this one tonight, 62-40 yeah. over Beardstown. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thanks, guys. That's Saki head coach Brad Dame. Pittsfield wins this one by 22, their 18th win of the season. Time to name our player of the game. Presented by Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, parents, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. And, hey, how about a comeback night for Brennan Tomme? 19 points in the victory for the senior he is tonight's player of the game. That's going to do it from Boschel Gymnasium. We'll see you on Thursday evening with 7th grade state championship action from all four locations. Back here Friday as the Sockies and the Western Wildcats go head to head. We hope you'll join us then on another Central Illinois Sports presentation.